Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Tofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Today, we're gonna go on a council mission right when our supply drop actually landed. Because after I shut down the recording last time, we uh, got to the end of the month automatically, so this kind of coincided with that. Um, this could be one of the shortest episodes ever because, of course, we were scanning for a supply rate, which is almost done as well. But before I make any rash promises, let's go over the team first. We're going to take Elena the Reaper, Marina the Grenadier, Lena the Templar, Christina the Sharpshooter, Emily the Ranger, and Sarah the Specialist. About half of our team can still get promotions, which is what I'm aiming for as usual. We can get an engineer and some intel from this if we manage to rescue a VIP from an advent vehicle. Here we go. And there we go, drop off in the city. And another outside level, that's cool. But... Menace 1-5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous, eliminate all hostile contacts. So we even got an immediate extraction point already. We will get reinforcements the once we save the VIP, right but this seems like a very, very short mission. There's supposed to be nine enemies on the map. Uh, nine enemies means that's going to be nine with another reinforcement on top of that. So let's just spread out a little bit to start. Uh, so we can start spotting some enemies. And I think Lena might have spotted something. There we go. Two troopers and a priest. So basically the weakest of the bunch. But is there a, a tower over here as well? No, it doesn't seem like it. So let's move everybody closer. Oh, and we spotted another batch, the two codexes and a spectre on the right there. Okay, that should be fine still. So there's probably one more batch left then with about, I think a purifier, um, a gatekeeper and something else. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go further. So those guys are actually moving away past uh, one of those antenna, which is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Which means that we might be able to focus on the two codexes first. Now the question is, did I bring a flashbang along? I'm hoping I did. Do we still have sight on those guys? Yeah. But if I move to the left just a little bit, I should be able to uh, ignore those for now. Um, don't know if we spotted them with uh, Elena yet. I don't think we did, but... Let's move up. You know what? Let's start with a sniper rifle shot on the elite priest. So the priest has the highest health bar. So dealing damage to him should be our top priority. So there we go. Starting it off with a sniper rifle shot. We should be... There we go. 13 on the critical and burning. We should be far enough away from the codexes and the spectre to not trigger them. But I guess we'll see in a second. And there we go. Okay, that's fine. I think Elena should be able to finish off the priest here. So if we can get a sting in on the priest. Fear my strike. Like this. There we go. Ah, oh, he doesn't go down. He goes into stasis probably. Yeah, there he goes. That's annoying. Um... And I can move Sarah over here. That should not trigger the codexes or the spectre. But I am now able to hack that tower. I'm just going to take a look. Because that might actually help us out in some capacity. So system overrides. Mm, reduce enemy will by 50%. And that's a 100% guarantee. I don't need the lead. So let's just go for hypno hypnography. There we go. Reduce enemy will by 50%. And down they go. That's a nice hack from Sarah. Which should allow us to just kill everything else with a few uh, actions here. Um, first things first. I should probably take care of the cover of that elite trooper over here. So if I do demolition, we can take out that cover. We have a free shot for anybody who wants to take a shot at him. There we go, out in the open. No need to worry about anything anymore. Emily now has a nice flanking shot. It's only 65% though, so I might just 
I think it's too early for run and gun, so I'm just gonna try and do this on that one trooper. And that was a miss, but we did get three damage out of that, which means that Lena can definitely render this guy now. Uh, I can try and hit the priest, but that's not gonna help us because he's in stasis. Uh, so let's just... I mean, I can try it anyway. This world is ours. There we go. And we get loot from that immediately. One focus and an advanced hair trigger plus advanced speed, which is always nice. So speed, I think, is gonna be dodge. So that's just parry Lena. Oh, that was our final action, apparently. I thought we had one more to uh, get rid of the trooper. There goes the priest. He's gonna be firing at Lena, but Lena, of course, can parry. And now we're gonna test my theory whether she can actually do that twice or not. Um, we'll see. Well, they missed anyway. The invaders move against me. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. That's fine. We might get the codexes now. They might be coming along to investigate the noise. But for now, all seems quiet. Okay. So that means that... L Elena. Elena can go over here. She's still in shadow, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then we can just fire at the priest with a single shot. There we go, five damage. And do we get revealed? Oh, just, we get just revealed, that's sad. I need to keep an eye on who still needs promotions. Emily is one of those, so let's just put her over here on the side. That should give her a nice flanking shot. And also probably a kill shot with the Talon rounds. There we go. Critical immediately 16 points of damage. Now we need to move back to the center of the area. We're going to have to do that carefully Advantage just to not trigger anything. Um, so especially... Yeah, they're still over there. So I'm wondering if this would trigger them. That might be just too close. So, alien activity, but it seems to be pretty quiet. Okay, then that means I should put Elena into shadow and then move closer to the Codexes and the Spectre. The time for hiding is over. There we go, those are those two guys. And I think I should start this off with a flashbang. I still have one with me. So if I can toss that over there, that should hit hopefully all three of them. I'm not entirely sure. It seems to hit the two codexes, which is enough for me. Um, I do hope, because this is, is this the, the van we need to protect? Uh, I don't know if this flashbang now does damage on those things, but I guess we'll see. Flashbang, here we go. I don't think that should damage the truck, right? There we go, volatile mix, but I don't think the... The truck is active. Oh, we, we even missed the Spectre. But I know the Spectre's abilities are not tied to being disoriented. So even without that, he would have been, uh, been fine. And that one codex seems to be staying put. Okay, how far can Lena go? I should probably not do this. I think Lena can go all the way up to the guy in the back. Or she can kill this guy. Wait a second. I think with the sniper rifle, we should get a shot. Yeah, that's a 100%. Ooh. They're all 100% shots. Let's just try and fire at the back one with the highest health bar. With the sniper, we're finally using Christina as a sniper, by the way. That was not a kill. Interesting. Um, let's use the grapple to see how far we can get. Um, so we can get on top of the roof here. There we go. With the Viper suit, finally using that. Uh, we get a nice flank shot on the codex from here, but 
what I want to do is, of course, have a shot at the... Where is he? At the Spectre. So if we move over here, we should get... Oh, we're not going to get a kill, are we? Let's save her for last. I have another shot with Elena as well. From Shadow, that might keep her in here. Come on, let's keep it in Shadow. So that's a kill. That's a kill, and we are revealed. Okay. Not a problem. Um, then, Sarah, I think she can probably fire at the Spectre, or... If we move her a little bit closer... She might be able to take a shot at, yeah, that exposed Codex. Let's fire at him. Take him out. That's another Codex down. And then Lena, I can use her to first rend the Spectre over here. Like this. You will pay the price. So that's going to be some nice damage on the Spectre. 10 damage, very, very nice. And he's disoriented. We do get momentum, but I'm going to use that to parry. And then Emily can go over here and hopefully get a critical on the Spectre. Because if she goes down, I use the grapple to give her a little bit more momentum. And then we can fire at the Spectre, hopefully critting. There we go. The Talon rounds are really, really reliable. And we get another focus for... Uh, Lena. And there we go. It was that? I can still put it on Overwatch. That was interesting. So now we still have to deal with the most annoying badge. Interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Okay. Then that means that we need to move up as quickly as possible. Christina is still pretty far away, so let's just move her up as far as we can. And I'll see you guys in a second. So let's use Lena to make a ghost as preparation for the Gatekeeper. Gatekeepers are psionic units, so they take increased damage from Rend and other Templar abilities. So that's going to be really, really nice if we can pull that off. But otherwise, still moving up. Okay, nothing happened enemy-wise, which is good. I'm going to move Sarah up to the door of the truck. That should allow us to hack it. She's going to be wide out in the open, though. So, like this. And that spots us. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Purifier, shield bear, and a very, very scary gatekeeper. Okay. Um, we might want to wait with opening the door there. Um, but first, let's see where... Yeah. Hmm... I feel like if I move to the sides here, I might get a nice line on maybe two of them. So let's move inside with Marina. Because remember, she still has the Shredstorm Cannon. That's exactly what I kept her for. Um, if I want to take care of the Gatekeeper, I can't hit the Shield Bay or the Purifier. So... And I think I want to do that. Or, alternatively, I could try an Acid Bomb and that does hit. That does hit both of them. Yeah, an Acid Burn is going to be nice because it's going to take care of their armor even better than the Shredstorm Cannon. Because Acid is just made for shredding armor. So let's just do that. A one, two, three. Bombs away. Especially because the... Uh, the Gatekeeper is really hard to hit. Now. There's two more armor I need to take care of there. Uh, I could get a little bit closer. But my shots right now are probably horrible. On the Gatekeeper, yeah. Hmm. Can I get up here somehow? No, not with Elena at least. Because I still have Banish. Um, so if I move over here... I'm really close to uh, to Marina here. But that should have improved my shots just a little bit. Yeah, 56. And with Banish, that's going to be 41. 
But we have shredding and that should do quite a bit of damage. I don't have... Do I have an auto loader on this? No. So I only have three shots. Which isn't good now, is it? I could blow up some vehicles, but I don't think I need to do that now. Let's not do that. So let's just fire at the... I'm going to have to fire at the gatekeeper, aren't I? I'm going to fire with Banish anyway, because three 40% chances are going to be better than just one 56% uh, chance. So there we go. I'm not going to be able to use that in the rest of the match anyway, so that's a miss. And then we get a hit. There we go. That's all I wanted. That armor shredded. That armor shredded was enough for me. Because then I have a little bit of a, a little bit of an idea. Because um, we still have this ghost here, and ghosts can do that same ionic storm ability. And that ionic storm ability is gonna basically hit everybody. Uh, so let's do that right now. Sacrificing the ghost just to do a bunch of damage. And acid burn doesn't really matter. Because she's gonna die now immediately anyway. Ooh, there we go. The gatekeeper. <laughs> it killed. It killed the purifier and the shield bearer in one go, which means that Lena can now technically finish this off. But do I want to give that last kill to somebody else who still needs a promotion? Um, we could give that to Emily, or at least try to give that to Emily. Because I don't think she has a promotion in the bag yet. And killing a gatekeeper. Oh, damn. That's not going to happen, is it? 37%. Ah, oh, we did. Of course, with the stalk. That, that's, that uh, is not a problem at all. There we go. Killed. And I don't think that even gave us... No. I don't think that gave us anything. So let's just reload. There we go, and then we we'll use Sarah to open up the door. And that should give us something nice as well, because that always comes with a bit of a reward. This soldier's hacking stat permanently increased by 20%, with but 20, not 20%, but 20. That is just amazing. Yeah, definitely. That's going to put her tech score up to 175, which is higher than a sectopult. That's going to be really, really nice. That's a nice bonus. Thank you for that door. Yes, you are. You are in. Uh, so that means that we can now open up the door if you want to. I could technically start spending the focus to get that trophy, but I'm not going to. Uh, there's not going to be enough enemies to just uh, gather that up again. So I'm just going to grab this. And then move further. So that's nine enemies. So there are no enemies on the field anymore. But there might of course be more spawning in a minute. So next turn let's use Emily to open up the door. Since she has the most mobility. Moving to evac. Menace one five status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction point. We will. We're probably going to get reinforcements in a minute. But uh, opening up the... Opening up... Is, is the door open now? feel like it is. It should be open. It doesn't show me uh, show it as open. But uh, there we go. VIP straight into the extraction zone. Because it's that close in front of me. This seems like a very easy mission, by the way. I Let's evac that. Yeah, do I need to do anything else? It seems like we can just extract everybody now. Aside from maybe a few people that are just too far away. But let's move everybody to extraction then. There we go, we do get reinforcements there. The aliens have brought friends. But I mean... We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. That doesn't really matter because we just need to extract. So whatever's going to drop there, we don't really care about that anymore. As long as I can get... Um, Elena in the extraction zone as well. And of course everybody no else. But uh, that should not be a problem anymore. So let's just grab Marina over here. here Christina over here, and then we should be able to evac basically everybody without needing to deal with those lost aliens. Because we're not going to get the corpses anyway, so might as well evac right now. And there we go, Marina is the last one. Let's just leave. Flawless mission, VIP extracted, 9 enemies killed, and only 8 turns taken, so uh, very nicely done.
the statistics screen was really funny. The Templar Ghost was the one that actually dealt the most damage, which was really, really funny. Because I think it did uh, like 35 damage in one go. And we get... Ooh, we get the final promotion for uh, Elena. That is going to be nice. I want to see what those final three abilities are. Uh, so let's take a look. Homing Mine. Attach a Claymore onto an enemy. The homing mine will explode upon that enemy taking damage. So that probably means that we get another mine on top of the two that we already have. So that's really nice. 25 ability points though. Uh, Annihilate. When you kill a target with Banish, you will continue firing at another enemy until you run out of ammo. <laughs> what? Holy crap. Annihilate. That is really, really cool. So you can even spread that immense amount of damage and then kill zone take a reaction shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within a cone of fire we get that on top of that as well i think they're both really cool abilities but i feel like um we already have two claymore mines so that means that the homing mine is just gonna add another one and attaching it to an enemy is not that much different than just putting it at their feet which is interesting but I think Annihilate would be the better option here. So when you kill a target with Banish, you will continue firing at another enemy until you run out of ammo. So let's, yeah, let's definitely get Annihilate. There we go. Uh, and that's gonna be it for now. I know she still has nine ability points. Although we could actually use that to give her Silent Killer too. It's not the best ability, but kills with the Vector Rifle do not increase the Reaper's chance to break out of Shadow. But the chance to reveal still occurs. Let's, yeah, let's just grab that as well. Just three ability points that we actually need to use. And that is Elena up to Colonel as well, which is good. Now, is the bond between Emily and Sarah now high enough? It is. So there we go. We can finally confirm that bond. So uh, Sarah finally got herself a new bond made after the devastating loss of Alessia. Her story keeps on going. And then we get two Codex Brains, an Advanced Hair Trigger, and the Advanced Speed. It is Mobility, though. I thought that was just called Mobility as well. But Advanced Speed, we can put that on you any of our soldiers. You crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. And we get 91 Intel and Dr. Kalia Chohan, an engineer. So that's going to be another uh, female engineer, which is always nice. So welcome. Welcome. So we can put her anywhere, but... <laughs> I think by now you might have noticed that we are not lacking in uh, an engineer. So I can uh, actually increase. Yeah, I'm going to use her to increase our uh, number of contacts because that's going to be one of our next things to do. But as I said at the beginning of this episode, this might be the shortest episode yet because I do not have to do any base management. Um, well, barely any. I know there's a supply drop available. Um, and that's, of course, a lot of supplies. I'm not exactly sure where the supply drop is. Because uh, I might I might have kind of missed where the supply drop is. Is it somewhere on the map? Maybe it's on in, in America. Is it in America? Ah, there it is. It's in South America. Okay. But we are one day away from uh, getting the gathering mob. And there we go. Less than a day away from this. And we get... A supply raid, so let's just press OK and we get that immediately. There we go, no need to scan anything else. We're gonna go on a raid. Um, it is with loss, we have loss in the area, so we're gonna have to be careful. Let's see who we're gonna take. We are facing a Codex Andromedon Elite Shield Bear, Purifier, Sectopod, ooh, Andromedons and Sectopods, Lancers, Troopers, Heavy Max, and Losts. That is quite a bit. That is quite the amount of enemies for the Mexican regional track. but we need that supply rate because uh, the more resources we get the better so I'm gonna shuffle around everybody a little bit to get the best composition possible I'm gonna of course give the advanced speed to Emily now since she uh, yeah there we go she can definitely use that and there we go this is gonna be the squad for the next mission operation damned cobra we're gonna extract some advanced supplies which is also always gonna be uh, very very lucrative so we're gonna take hilda marina jacqueline christina emily and sarah with their newly formed bond this is gonna be 
very very cool but we're gonna take a little break before that thank you guys enormously for watching you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2 the Valkyrie playthrough and when we get back we're gonna get ourselves some supplies so thank you guys enormously for watching see you guys next time goodbye